hey, it's math time, I know you're excited. Now, we all understand from America, the math is a four letter word. Okay, hate is also a four letter word and they seem to go together. But guess what? You'll never be any good at something you hate. So one of the things that we have seen happen with our students, and I want to be honest with you, we're just straight up proud of our students. They have done uh, extraordinary, extraordinary things in their math prep for the uh, AccuPlacer and college readiness. Guys, uh, we want you to feel different about your math. We want you to feel like a success, and our students do that. I do not have one student who has not completed their math who would come and talk to us and just do the last bits of tutoring to finish their place for level on the math. It's just that simple. It does not take a genius. It just takes somebody willing to work with us and finish the last steps. Uh, people are hyper afraid, don't need to. I have kids with scores starting at 20, 22, and end up at 103. Really, a score beyond their skill level. But we're so proud of them. These are kids that have, have had trouble. They hate math because math was the tax that stole the graduation. Things like that. So I want to go through starting with number 97 on our packets. We have packet 97, 98, 99, and 100. Four packets is all we have, plus a review packet of the skills. Now, anybody can add that up and say, wait a minute, that's only one semester or a part of a semester of Algebra 1. Yeah, got the point? That's what it takes to make this score on the AccuPlacer. So, we're going to have some fun. I'm going to do a little bit of introductory stuff with you uh, to help you on the way. I want you to be confident, have some fun, and... Uh, uh, work with me and by the way I would appreciate your input on these videos based on how it helps you think, how it helps you uh, uh, prepare and do the work. We want to be effective for you and equip you. Not just materials to read but something to listen to, something to watch and explain the key steps. Okay so we're going to be starting here on section 97 uh, coefficients. Okay when you started packet 97, one of the first words you run into, and by the way, one of the things about these packets in algebra, they use words that you have never heard anywhere else, except maybe some, some swear words, of course, that you don't know. Okay, uh, coefficient, radical, I mean, uh, all of this kind of stuff, inverse, uh, in, over here, the first word we're looking at is coefficient. What is a coefficient? Well, look, they give you a 3xy. Now, they want to know what are the coefficients of x. One of the ways I identify that is I just draw a little circle around x. And coefficient is really made up of two words. Co, which means mutual, and effect. This is the root word for effect. What has a, a coefficient? on one another. In other words, x, whatever the value, will affect the 3 and the y. The 3 and y both are coefficients of x. Co-effect one another. Does that help a little bit? Okay, so the coefficient of x is 3 and, oops, there's a backward y. Can you figure that out? Yeah, I need you head that one. Okay, that's a simple thing right there and that's how you identify it. Coefficient. We'll use it throughout the whole of algebra. Thanks. On page number six, uh, you shift over to the way to express what is written in algebraic form. Like right here, x squared is literally written out as x times x. And you can see the x squared means there are how many x's there? Yeah, yeah, two. You got that? And also, the same way like yeah, have a one-half and you square the one-half. That really can be written out in the form of one-half and then you write it a second time times one-half. By the way, what is one times one? Okay, and what's two times two? You all know that that is one over four, right? 
It's that simple fractions are. Are you scared of fractions now? Mm -hmm. Don't be. You'll learn how to do it. There are very few fractions in the algebra that you will have to negotiate, but there is a bit. And it's not that hard. So don't trip out on me, okay? Uh, 3x to the third, or 3x cubed. The 3 means cubed, of course, right? Good. All right, you just have the 3, see? And then how many x's do you have? There's three of them. One, two, three. That's what it means. It's real simple. When we start to multiply and we start to divide these things later in this book, just having that basic picture in your mind is an essential ingredient to much of the simple math that underlies the large problems that you'll be facing in algebra. Okay? We'll go on to page seven next. Okay, as I said on page seven, uh, what we have are two sections. On the upper section, uh, we have an expression of how to rewrite problem number eight shows 2x plus 3y squared, the whole quantity of 2x plus 3y, whatever x and y are. They used to be it by writing 2x plus 3y once, and because you have the two there, you write it a second time. Now eventually you learn how to foil this, multiply all four steps, and eventually that's where we will go. But you write it this way to start. Now, the problem number five I want to go through, it had the four x squared, so that had four times one x and two x. That's x squared right there. Plus, you just leave the plus sign in between, and then you do y to the third. One, two, three, that's y to the third. That's easy, isn't it? I knew it. Now, look to the bottom of the page. Remember that word I said, radical? What does that mean? A radical sign is a square root sign. That's a radical right there. But if you put a number with a square root looking sign, that is a cube root. Have you heard of cube root before? I, I've heard of other root things, but mostly root beer is the best. But uh, I know, yeah, okay. This as a square root, they don't put a two there. Okay, so the point is, it's assumed that there is a square root. This is, of course, the cube root. What is the square root for? You know it's two times two, right? And what is the cube root? Well, what is four three times itself, right? Four times four, 16. And what is 16 times four? Yeah, it's 64. So if you take the cube root of 64, it's just one of those little turkeys right there. That's how it works. That's how you do a cube root. Radical is just talking about that sign there. So if you don't trip out, it's okay. We get a little trickier later. The fractions are easy. You take the square root of the top piece. You take the square root of the bottom piece. That's how complicated it is. You can get it. I have confidence. Okay, we'll pick back up on the next page.